everybody welcome back to my channel my name is courtney if you're new here in today's video i'm going to be doing this just a really quick smoky eye a little bit of glitter um just a really like i think like pretty cool fun look so if you'd like to see how i created this look please continue to watch like and subscribe i link all the products that i use in the description box below so you can check those out and let's get started color I'm going in with first is Plum by Laura Mercier. This is such a good crayon. It goes on so fast and then it sets, but it gives you a little bit more time to play with it. So I just apply it underneath first and then smudge it out. Bring it like with what's left on your finger. You can start to build the shape that you want. It's ugh, such a good, good product. So I bring it all the way underneath and then I go into the inner corner. Just throw that right in there. Outer corner doesn't have to be perfect. You're just building up that the shape that you want. And it gives you, like I said, a good amount of time to play with it. And then Throw that into the crease. I keep all of that lid space uh, raw because that's where I'm going to be applying the glitter and I want it to be a little bit more pronounced. So I'm just building up around it. I'm going to show you a couple different ways. So it, you can go in with your fingertip and I'm just gently kind of like pushing it into where I want it to be because it's going to continue to set as you play with it. So you just want to move it into the area that you want it to be. I want it a little bit more elongated in the outer corner. I want it a little bit darker on the inner corner and I want that crease to be a little bit more, more pronounced. Or Another really easy way to do it is to take a fluffy brush. This is by Prados Beauty. Very gently, if you hold it closer to the end of the brush, it'll make it so that you're, you're going in very, very gingerly with it. And that'll blend that out too, even though it's a cream. If you need a little bit more, Just go in, add a little bit more color if you want it a little bit more intense in the crease. And then just where you want to blend it out. You don't want to go over the whole product. You don't want to go all the way in and blend that out because then it can get away from you. But if you're just concentrating very lightly where that color meets your natural skin, a little bit of, um, if you just blend that out a little bit, you'll get a nice gradation. Make sure that that is pretty close, close enough. Then I'm gonna go in with a Monopoly palette by Hip Dot. And these glitters that are right in here are so good. So I just load up on my fingertip. And where I didn't put any of that shadow down, just where I left that lid space empty is where I'm putting the glitter. It's okay if it gets into the other color. If you just try to concentrate it onto the lid, that's where you want it to go. And then with what's left on my finger, I'm going to go right underneath, just in the center there. It's okay if it gets a little bit on the inner and outer corner. Um, but you want to concentrate that the bulk of the glitter on that inner panel, that center panel. I like a makeup that's not perfect because it seems a bit more effortless. Like you're just throwing it on to look cool and you don't care if it's perfect. For your lashes, I'm using Lash Princess by Essence. And just throw a ton of mascara on top and bottom. Done. 
Since it's a little, it's, it's more concentrated of an eye focus, I'm going to go in with a bit of a lighter lip. So I'm using Davis by Wilma Beauty. I glitter. Damn it, I have glitter. Um, with a finger that doesn't have all the glitter on it, just smudge that out. Just add a little bit of contrast. And then I'm going in with Amber by Maybelline. Throw a little bit of that gloss on. And that's it. So just like a quick glittery eye. Couple products, the least perfect. <laughs> least perfect smoky eye that you can do. I like that look. I, I like a little bit more of like a lived in look that you don't look like you're trying too hard, but still looks pretty cool to me anyway. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you think about this tutorial. If you want to see other tutorials by me, please let me know in the comments down below. Uh, like and subscribe, and I will see you in my next video. Thanks. Bye.